What is up, guys? Ultra Balls back with another Snake Draft game. Uh, this time we have ABR versus the Thorn. Uh, before we start the replay, we'll look into the teams quickly. So ABR uh, has a team that I'm assuming it's Megalodia, uh, Megalodias. Um, possibly some sort of shift gear Magirna because they could both benefit depending on their sets with, from the Magna Zone. Uh, and then I would assume it's Rock's Clef because I think the Lando has to be Scarf because that's like ABR's only real form of speed control. Uh, would be Scarf uh, Lando. Uh, and then on the Thorn side, it's just like some kind of standard looking Diancie bulky offense. I'm not the biggest fan of these sorts of teams, mostly just because I think Tang is kind of underwhelming at the moment. Like, I know it does check Ashgren and stuff, but it like it invites in a lot of scary stuff. So I like I'm in general I'm just not the biggest fan of it right now. Uh, but yeah, the team looks pretty standard. It's probably Ashgren, Scarf Lati, uh, Defensive Lando maybe. Uh, it could also be Scarf Lando and some sort of like Z-Move Lottie, but I guess we should see. We uh, shall see as we go through the replay. So uh, we'll start it now. We see Manif ABR leads off with Manaphy. Um, ice Beam's the Latios. Obviously completely fine because the um, the Lando was in, so that was like a free Ice Beam for him. Uh, pivots to Clef on the Draco. We'll probably see Rocks go up now, maybe, if this is Rocks Clef. Uh, we actually see a Calm Mind. Uh, this forces the Thorn to taunt if he has it, otherwise he'll lose to Clef 1v1 if he doesn't have taunt. So, yeah, we do see the taunt come out. ABR makes a nice play into Landorus. Uh, now we should U-turn out. Yep, good play. ABR is keeping up momentum uh, early on. And now ABR could probably go into... I mean, he doesn't actually have great stuff to break this tank, to be honest. Uh, he could go... He's like, he could go Clef, but he probably doesn't want to get knocked off. Um, you could go Gear. But, like, if you're a Shift Gear Magirna, you're not breaking through Tang yet, and it's going to be able to weaken you with, like, um, Earthquake and stuff. So he does go Clef. It's going to have to eat the knockoff, but it could either get up, it could get up Rocks here, or uh, just Calm Mind again to make it a threat and kind of force in the Tran, uh, force the Taunt as well. So we'll see. Um, but if I was ABR, if I have Rocks on that, or on Clef, I'm going for it now. Is he Calm Mind? So he might just not be Rocks. Okay, so Thorn does uh, knock off the leftovers. Now he's probably going to go hard Tran. So we see the double into Landers. That was a good play. Uh, but the thing is here, like, once again, you're not really getting anywhere because if you just keep U-turning on the Tangrowth, it gets all of that back with regen. So so it's like, I'm, d depending on where the rocks are here. Okay, so he doesn't... Okay, so it's rocks Lando. So it might not be Scarf or it could be Scarf Rocks. Uh, but if this is Scarf, or if this isn't Scarf, okay, so this is just, like, defensive. So, I don't know where ABR speed control is, unless it's something like Scarf Zone, which is, like, weird, and still not fast enough to outspeed, like, the stuff you need a Scarfer to outspeed. So, I'm a little confused, uh, by that. I guess, I, I, like, it always could be Scarf Latias, but Scarf Latias without, like, maybe Scarf Latias to bring back gear could be an option. Um... It could be like Z-Move Manaphy, so you have the Scarf Lottie to bring back either of those threats. That's a possibility, I guess, for sure. Uh, so Thorn goes into Tangrowth. Uh, his EHP Ices again. Like, U-Turn would have been a fire play to keep up momentum, but, like, I agree, HP Ice is fine. And he could just U-Turn here, because now with Rocks up and Tangrowth taking that uh, the chip, it's actually getting worn down now. Whereas, like, okay, he goes into Heatran here on the U-Turn. That was a good play by the Thorn. So he's, I was going to say, if he keeps letting the Tangrowth take U-Turns in Rocks, it actually gets worn down more than when it recovers from regen. So he's got or he's going to be trying to keep that uh, Tangrowth healthy. I'm actually surprised that uh, the Thorn didn't go into the Tangrowth on Manaphy the first time. Uh, we'll see here, a Hydro Vortex blows away the Heatran. Um, I don't really know if that was necessary, because, like, if he goes Tang, right? Like, if he goes Tang Growth, you waste your Z-Move for no reason, and Surf, uh, maybe Surf doesn't kill Heatran. I feel like it would. I mean, that's, Manaphy's, like, decently strong in its stab, but maybe not. I, I, I had to kill, right? I don't, I don't know about wa wasting the Z-Move here, but yeah, because we see the Z-Move, there is... At first, I would have said that it would be, like, uh, the Double Dance set. But I actually, I don't think it is the Double Dance set now because, like, we saw Ice Beam. And normally, you have to run Psychic on that to be able to kill Toxapex. Otherwise, you just get hazed. So, Manaphy, or Manaphy does its job getting the kill on Heatran and definitely weakening this Tangrowth, which is nice. I think we could just go into, um, to Lando here and U-Turn is completely free. We'll see what ABR wants to do. But, yeah, I think... What I would def I would just go to te or to Landorus here in U turn because it kills the Tangrowth from this range and he doesn't like he doesn't want to switch into anything on that really, um, like he could go to his own Landorus but then ABR is just gonna get in like his Lottie I guess, uh, okay so he goes Gear, 
Uh, which I guess is also a fine play. Now, Gear will either get knocked to Earthquake. Like, he doesn't know what this Gear is yet, so he doesn't want to knock and have it be a Z move. Well, no, we already saw the Z, right? So this could be some sort of... Uh, this could be Assault Vest. Like, I guess Assault Vest Mag plus Defensive Lando. Uh, either way, like, the Thorn... He... Like, if this was a setup with Gear now, I think it just won right now. Yeah, so he does kill the Tangrowth there. So that... Like, I'm... I'm fairly certain that this is going to be AV now based on like the way the teams play but it could be a if it's i don't know yet i don't know i don't want to speculate yet because we don't know enough because if it's av zone then it's definitely not av gear so we don't know but i feel like if this was some sort of shift gear he probably he could have went for it there and like maybe won the game like depending on his coverage and uh but now we're probably going to see the thorn or yeah the thorn if i was the thorn I'd, I would U-turn. I'd U-turn. Because, like, uh, ABR is either going... Should either go... Um, well, he has, like, three good switch-ins to, like... I think this was, like, a defensive Lando. Uh, he's got, like, three good switch-ins to that, which is... Um, the Clef, the Lottie, and the Lando. So he goes Clef. Yeah, he does U-turn on the Clef. A Clef was safe because, like, you don't want to go Lottie on a U-turn. And, like, uh, if you go Lando on the U-turn, he just gets in his Gren for free, which looks like a definite threat. Um, but now, uh, the Thorn gets in the Diancie, and Diancie does put in work here. ABR doesn't have good switch-ins at all, because if it's Earth Power, uh, it bops the, uh, the two steals, and the Diamond Storm Moonblast is gonna, uh, or, yeah, Moonblast just destroys the other three, so. The fact that the Thorn went for Diamond Storm there was weird, because I feel like Moonblast hits everything else harder, and then the two steals, uh, you'd want to Earth Power anyway, or HP, like, Whatever, I'm assuming it's four attack because we saw rocks on Lando. Um, so I think like, yeah, Diamond Storm was like a really weird play unless you're just trying to get the defense raise, but I don't know what, what you would need that for. Yeah. Okay, so he gets the crit. Um, that sucks uh, for ABR, but it, it shouldn't matter too much. This might be like max attack, Diancy. Why is it doing so much? It's doing a shit ton. Yeah, so like the crit doesn't matter too much because Clef keeps uh, soft boiling up. So this is probably some sort of endeavor set, maybe if we see sub. Uh, this is like this is bizarre. This set's bizarre. Like I don't know the damage for sure on Clef, but 48 with Diamond Storm seems like a lot if you're running Fizz Def Clef. Yeah, it is endeavor. Yep. Okay. Um, interesting set. But then what would it be? Sub endeavor double stab. I don't. That sounds kind of bad. Uh, I think you go back. Okay, you go Landers here. I don't know if I like this play unless you were... Because we know you're not Scarf. A Diamond Storm. That did so much, dude. Wait, what? That's an Intimidated Diamond Storm? That's 47? What the hell? Why did it do so much? And we already know it's like... It was like HP Ice Rocks Lando. So I don't get why that's doing so much. Because I think... I thought it was defensive. And now Zone gets to a KO'd. Um, oh no, we see Zone, oh yeah, okay, 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 we, we did see Zone is the Scarfer, or Zone is Scarfed at least, I, the Lottie still could be, I guess, but Zone was Scarfed because it outsped the Diancy. I wasn't paying attention that turn, that's important, uh, because now, uh, Thorn's forced out, I think he definitely wants this, it kills every single Mon. Why, why did you, I still don't get why Diamond Storm did 47, that's insane damage. It's like, so yeah, he doesn't, this is why I don't like, like, Scarf Zone's like bad, because like, you get outsped by, like, everything. Uh, so this is definitely AV gear if it was Scarf Zone. And that's, like, max uh, spadef for sure. Doing absolutely no types of damage um, to the gear. And he doesn't have a good switch in. Like, he just clicks Flirt Cannon. Yeah, like, what is this? Like, it's weird that you would... Why would you run a Diancy that's walled by... Well, I guess you're not... I was going to say walled by, like, every steal. But you're not really because you could just keep subbing up and then endeavor them and then beat them. Yeah, and he's actually at 51, uh, those calculated EVs. Um, he's just going to be able to sub down twice to, like, 1 HP, I'm assuming. Yeah, so... Oh, he diamond... I don't get... He should have subbed, right? Why didn't he sub? Alright, um... He could have gone for, like... If he would have subbed there, he had, like, somewhat of a shot, didn't he, the Thorn? Because if the... Because yeah, now, I mean, you see these turns playing out. I mean, these are pretty obvious. I don't have to talk about them too much because they're pretty obvious what's happening. Explosion? What the fuck is that for? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, look, like, that's what this, this uh, you see in the smog, smog Tours chat. They're saying that too. What is that for? 
That doesn't make any... That's so weird. AVR says it's for Volcarona. That's super cool. Um, but yeah, okay, so going back to the one turn, I don't get... If the Thorn would have subbed with Diancie, he hards... Like, because Diamond Storm didn't kill gear anyway, so I didn't think there was a point for going for that. If anything, you would sub down and try to, like, endeavor it. I... I don't know though. Like, I think he should have gone for the choke and just subbed anyway. Because if you would have subbed on the switch to Lando, right? You um, you kill the Lando. If he goes into zone, he's got to break your sub, and you could either sub again on the predicted uh, like Volt switch, or I don't know. Like, I think his I don't I still don't think he could have won, but that was like his only chance at that point. I don't I don't get why he just hard diamond stormed when there was like a scarf zone right there. But yeah, ABR takes that pretty convincingly. Um, he played it really well. So uh, yeah, good game to ABR. Good game to the Thorn. Uh, like always, I, I say the same stuff at the end of every video. I'll be having more uploads in the future. So if you like these, give my man Doc like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.